Hello Scorpio and welcome to your tarot card reading for the week ahead of October 10th. Um, my camera's on the blitz so I'm working with my um, phone so bear with me and maybe, maybe a little shaky. I did pre-shuffle the cards already and I have the spread out um, so um, cause I'm, only, I'm holding the phone in my other hand. So let's get on with your reading. You know you're coming into the week with the six of spades and the six of spades is saying um walking you're definitely going to take control of some um, situations um, for some it is tra is involving travel it is also involving thoughts of moving but it is also saying that you're really um taking control of some of the situations and you're going to be moving along so that's kind of the theme um here the, with the king of spades it's telling me again pay attention to what's going on around you you have a keen eye this week what i see so just pay attention to what is going on around you um here it's saying there so could be some negotiations going on and if uh, um if you need to negotiate something um certainly do it um but also be careful you know make sure that you know all the facts at the same time so it tells me there's some talks or some negotiations going on and also um what did i want to say um I pay attention to what's actually really really going on around you with the seven of clubs here it's also saying that you need to um do not what i wanted to say is don't agree to anything uh, to anything unless um you really feel if you don't feel something is right don't agree to it don't be rushed into anything it's almost there's a feeling of some kind of being uh you being rushed into something because you got the jack of spades um uh, we'll talk about that in a minute that's kind of what it's telling me here so but with the tower here um the tower and uh, is telling me that things are going to come to, uh, there's going to be some surprises i think a turn of events and some surprise, surprises and i think it's in um with matters of the money here with the queen of diamonds it's again telling me with all this here do not sign anything that you're not happy with take your time check everything um that's what it's telling me for others it's just saying um, um money's on the mind and that but this is the theme that i'm really seeing for you guys with the four of spades here it's um really going to be taking a little bit of a break and reassessing some stuff and also um this may be cutting out this may be also a person in your life that a queen of diamonds um which is like, like an earth sign type or someone who's very focused on money you may be actually cutting this person out of your life kind of because i got this we got the five of spades here or um reassessing um something these could be dealings with this person too or a king of spades too it, you know it depends on what scorpio we're talking about then with the four of um diamonds here um it's telling me again it's focuses on money definitely on money big money money that really matters to you also money um <clears throat> that probably is coming in and um you're walking out the week really with the five of spades again that's telling me reassess everything um do not sign or agree to anything that you're that you that doesn't feel right again you're going to be clearing out things um heaven help anybody who uh thinks they can pull anything over you that's all i'm saying because you really are going to be um very focused so just be very focused you you definitely be um editing cutting out some stuff and this could be um leaving some situations behind leaving people behind people leaving you or leaving some stuff behind but i think it's really it's good for you um for career, you have the six of um, clubs. That, again, is telling me um, you probably most likely will have some su success. Um, also, this is telling me use your intuition. This is a card also in card, um, cardamency, it meaning um, good things coming in. It's like faded in a way. And it's also saying um, use your intuition. So, and it's also, this card is also showing confident energy and you definitely moving along. When you're dealing with double sixes here as the theme of the week, it's also saying that um, the dealings could be with family matters, um, collaborate, um, you know, um, dealing with family, home, um, uh, things like that, that, or things that are very, 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 very important to your foundation and could be connected to family. For love, you got the nine of diamonds and the nine of diamonds, again, is telling me this is saying for some of you um it's almost like a yes answer and it's saying um good things and there's possibility of good things coming in um someone could be coming into the home 
these are matters of the heart. I never like to say it's really, really love. It's because matters of the heart can mean anything. So that is a good card to have. Um, your underlining theme, kind of subconscious energy, and that is the jack of um, spades. That's why I was saying don't rush into anything because I do see it's it most likely is going to be a fast week. And um, don't be, um, if you don't sign anything, don't agree with anything, whatever area that is in your life, that does not sound right to you. And the tarot card that was pulled is the sun. So the sun, you know, this is again saying one, I feel um, you really got your eye on and, and um, your eye on things. And um, it's also popularity. You know, you are really in the focus here. You have some um, great energy, underlining energy that I think that you, with the six of um, clubs here, um, really saying that you're going to pull through some stuff. You got the power, you got the intuition, and you got, um, you just need to um, do what's good and what makes you happy. Okay, don't sign anything. Don't agree to anything that does not make you happy like this child right here. Anyway, um, Scorpio, that was your reading for the week ahead of October 10th. And uh, have a great week. See you tomorrow for my gemstone readings. Bye, guys.